What's up guys, this episode we're diving into the Basecamp 3 URLs again, only this time we're talking about writing tests for it. So in a previous episode we built up this rack middleware that by default if you don't have an ID in the URL as the first option or the first uh, part of your path, um, it will just load the application like normal, but if you do set an ID number in there, it will look up your account and it will also change the navbar uh, route to that. And so then all of your Rails routes don't have to have the current account ID in it. It will be automatically taken care of by this rack middleware, which is very, very handy if you're doing something where users can switch between accounts. So this is really nice um, and saves us a lot of trouble on the Rails side. But one thing we want to do is make sure that this is working and we can write good tests for it. So there's two approaches that I want to talk about in this episode. One then we're going to test the rack middleware itself. This will basically be a unit test for rack middleware. So we want to basically give it a URL to parse and then check and make sure it parsed the correct thing out. That will only test the rack middleware, won't test rails or anything like that. And that way this rack middleware will be fully independent um, in its test and so that will be just very concise and very fast to run. Now the other option is that I want to run system tests which will load a real browser and then it will go and load a full URL and make sure that that whole process works. And we want to use system tests instead of integration tests or uh, controller tests or anything like that because the system tests run your full Rails stack including all of the middlewares and everything, that will test that everything works from start to finish. If you were to use the Rails integration tests, those only use Rails itself. They actually skip all of the rack middleware, most of it at least, and just parse from the Rails side. And because what we're doing happens before Rails processes the request, we can't actually use the integration test because the integration tests don't even know that this is happening. Um, so this is something we have to use in unit tests um, for the rack middleware and system tests to make sure we have a full coverage of this feature. So let's dive in. Now because you're not typically testing any of the middlewares, um, we're going to create a folder inside test 